Hey guys, it's Ryan from All Mine Ranch filming part two of my four day weekend video. It's already hot. Um, I spent the first three hours of the day editing part one. It is rendering right now and I'll upload it soon. That's almost an hour long video. I promise this one won't be as long. Uh, today and tomorrow, uh, day three and four of my weekend, I'm gonna work on framing. Uh, unless it gets too hot and just too brutal in the sun, then I'll find some more indoor garage port or workshop projects. Certainly there's a lot of electrical work to be done on my workshop that's just sitting there lingering. But in my mind, that's more of a winter task, right? When it starts really getting cold and I wanna work inside where it's warm, I can work on the workshop. But for now, it's outdoors, framing in the sun. So that's my plan for today. So uh, let's, let's get into it. Tap, tap, tap. Wow, I look super red with my, everything here looks super white right now. That's weird. Anyway, I just ripped a beveled edge on an eight foot stud and I just clamped it up here to the wall. That's sort of gonna be the edge of the roof line of this workshop, solar closet. And you can see the slope is gonna come down like this, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna tie the first rafter into that thing but i put a chamfer on it so it matches the roof line and everything's going to descend off of that and you can see i clearly framed up my little stub wall here so yeah there's some details i still haven't worked out on this but i'm figuring it out as i go so um i'm gonna take that um board down that's clamped up there paint the back side of it because that theoretically could be exposed to moisture since my paneling is going to be on the inside of the wall i'm going to take it down paint it basically put it back up and mount it i'm going to let it extend out a half an inch to match the situation on that far side and um yeah then i'm gonna start on the rafters all right one gallon paint down two left
That was the $9 special from Home Depot of that crazy blue. Greenish blue. The next can that I just cracked open is slightly darker for reasons I don't understand, but I don't care. The price is right. Okay, there's two greenish blue two by fours. One is the piece that's gonna go over the head that I just put the bevel on. The other is just a straight stud that's gonna be the, I don't know what you call it, the plate, the, the sill plate on the back wall. So those are gonna be exposed to some weather, so I wanted to paint them blue. So done with that. All right guys, this is as far as I got. Made a template for the rafters, cut all of the ones that I had, but I'm short one. So you'll see two spots missing. One is because I don't want to use up the template and the other is the missing one that I've got to buy. Uh, it's been a frustrating hot day, so I'm gonna call it there, go have some iced tea with the neighbor and uh, relax a little bit. So see ya in tomorrow's videos. Good morning, my lovelies. Happy Labor Day. It's Monday. Day four. Stanley, go back in the truck, please. Thank you. Don't know what it is about my talking that triggers him, but it's day four of a four day weekend. Um, you know, yesterday I wasn't nearly as productive as I thought. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't. It was cooking hot uh, and humid and the sun was just baking down my legs were burning the flies were swarming around It was just not the most pleasant working conditions But as I'll take you outside and show you and as I probably showed you in the previous clip I did uh, manage to get up some rafters, but I'm short one rafter um, That can wait about a week. So today I'm going to continue framing the photon conversion chamber the north wall Which is the wall that butts right up. Well, it's literally the opposite right outside that wall, right on the other side. Um, but I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to work on some framing. I'm getting a little bit earlier of a start than I did yesterday. I spent, you know, a good three hours editing and uploading video for YouTube, part one of this video. Um, today, uh, based on a comment I got on that video, I decided just to shoot some ASMR type footage of Stanley and the birds. And so I'm uploading about a 45 minute video that's just bird chirping and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing and you want to know what it sounds like in the middle of the Sonoran Desert um, on a quiet holiday morning uh, as the sun is coming up, well, watch that video. But I did that. That video is uploading now and uh, it's time to get to work before it gets too crazy hot. Since it is Labor Day and I've been laboring for three straight days, I'm not going to kill myself today. In fact, yesterday because of the heat, I knocked off early and I went and had uh, some iced tea over at a neighbor's house. Um, it's an older woman, uh, Barbara. She invites me over about once a month or once every couple of months. Uh, she's got a very nice house about a quarter to a half a mile away, about a half a mile. And we like to talk politics and a little about Bitcoin and she asked me about my work and she recently had a you know struggle with cancer that she seems to have overcome. So awesome. Yay. Good job, Barbara. Her hair is growing back after losing it to chemo, etc. Um, it's very interesting to get the life perspective from someone who's, you know, a little another generation beyond me. I think she's around 78 and I'm not quite yet 53. So she's got 25 years on me and she's, you know, more on the tail end of the aging process. And um, it's just interesting to get her perspective on life and, and trade notes and things like that. So I went over there for about three hours 
last night. Um, Stanley stayed home by himself. And then on the way out of her house, um, she has a long winding driveway that's graveled. It was a big rattlesnake uh, just chilling right in the middle of her driveway. Or the, the exit road, I guess you might call it. Speaking of exit road, uh, Burning Man has been going on this week. It's been a mess from what I understand with lots of rain turning the place into a big mud bog. They had to even delay burning of the man, which normally happens on a Saturday night. It's burning tonight, Monday night, Labor Day, so that's very unusual. An exodus from the Burning Man event is uh, with 70,000 people on muddy playa is not an easy thing. So I'm really glad I'm not there, but I might uh, knock off a little bit early, and if they're airing it on YouTube, I might watch Burning Man's Man Burn tonight. It's a little bit of a tradition I've been doing for the last 10 years or so. Wowie, it is bright out here. Okay, so now here's what I worked on yesterday, these rafters. You can see it's a very low wall on this side. Um, not a very big space. Ah, Jesus, that sun is blinding. It is going to be another cooker today. Whew, let's get back into some shade. I'm walking under the rafters now. Wow. Um, so my project is basically to frame up against this wall, but there is a doorway here, so that's going to allow the passage into this space. So let me go. Oh, let's do this. Does that work? No, nope, I am pitch black. Come on. Got to get in the shade. That is just brutally fucking bright. Wow. Um, so I'm going to frame up against this wall, leave an opening for the door. Um, and I really don't know how it's going to come together. There will be potentially water, you know, getting down from here, sort of potentially trickling against this wall. So I think this two by four that's going to be on the floor, I'm going to run it through the table saw and put a beveled edge on it so it slopes away, you know, towards the north, towards this wall. So that if water does come down the wall and hits that sill plate, it'll then, you know, trickle off towards away from the interior and towards the exterior. Um, so that's going to be a long, tricky cut on the table saw, but I'm going to do that here shortly. Um, and then I'm just going to start attaching studs to this wall. And uh, let's just see how it goes. You know, my apologies in advance, but when it's this sunny out, it's really hard to film because it goes from extreme bright light to super dark and the camera just can't adjust. Um, but it just crossed my mind with those rafters that I have there now. I do have an extra tarp. Um, and the wind is not too high today, so I might just go ahead and throw a tarp over those rafters and give myself a little bit of shade because, you know, the reason I've been doing treating my nose with the Fluorosil cream is because I have an incredible amount of sun damage. Being so fair skinned and growing up in Florida at the beach, then in the Navy on the ship out at sea, I have an incredible amount of sun damage on my face. And even though I wear my big goofy, you know, wide brim hat, to keep the sun off of me and my neck and my face, it's still a lot of light just bouncing from every direction. So I think by putting a, a tarp over the rafters, giving myself a little bit of shade, it'll help protect my face, blah, blah, blah. So maybe that's my first order of business is creating some shade. All right, there we go. There's the tarp. First order of business was to get some shade under here. And so let's go under. Aha, isn't that better? underneath the tarp it's a little bit of relief anyway i can sit the camera here maybe kind of sort of maybe yeah that's not too bad little shade little breeze all right it took about four passes on the table saw but if you look at this end you can see that i put a bevel on that sloping towards the outside still some flat surface right here you know, to, for studs to sit on, but now in rainwater, won't be much, but the occasional drop of water hits this, it'll flow down that way and off and out. So now that I did that bevel, I've got to repaint it on that side, and then I can install it. Rolling, rolling, keep down, now he's rolling. Okay, so I put this beveled piece of two by four down here on the floor, which is like a base plate. I put a couple of screws in it to tack it. It's got that bevel away, so rainwater will run out and away. I've pre-drilled a bunch of holes. You can sort of see maybe, maybe along here that I'm about to put, um, 
these guys some deck whoops these guys some deck screws i'm going to put down in there and then i can start running uh some framing members up from corner to corner so progress is being whoops progress is being made Checking them all, make sure I got a screw in every hole. That's what she said, of course, of course. All right. Maybe, can you see it? Uh, the, it's very difficult to show this because of the tripod and the lighting, but can you see that? There we go, you can see the bevel there. All the way down, like that. Well, that came out perfect. Oh, or maybe not. It'll work though. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? How you doing there, little fella? All right, so this is gonna be the doorway of my back wall. I can't see what you're seeing. Let me double check the view. Oh, there I am. Hi. Got a few studs in here. Got a little corner treatment. And got the base, the basic frame of the walls. You get in the frame. See, back wall is low. Entry wall is high. Slopes down. You get the idea. So anyway, it's starting to get pretty warm. I've been going at it pretty solid for about three hours, cutting, measuring. Um, I'm almost out of studs. In fact, I think I am out of studs. So the 220 bucks that I uh, spent to Home Depot the other day has been mostly exhausted. All right, boys and girls, welcome back and welcome to the end of this video because I think I'm done with this. I think I've gone about as far as I can go with this structure given my lumber and my budget. It's been a good four day weekend. Um, I've explored all the options and I think the best thing uh, the highest and best use of my time is to go into this workshop Which I'll show you in a minute. It's pretty chaotic and clean it um, But I'm at a good stopping point for this little structure. It's coming along. I'm glad I had a little Sun uh, shade some shade today Keep me out of the Sun the humidity is down to 20% it feels much better. It's about 88 but it feels like a little bit dry not quite as humid so that's pretty nice um, so I took a little break and then I just kind of surveyed all the projects and I thought hmm what should I work on let's go this way and I think I'm gonna bring some order to the chaos in here I've got a hell of a wood pile going here I ripped a bunch of bevels on board so I got scrap and sawdust down there I got craziness going on with my future electrical panel over here you can see that's just crazy I'm not gonna mess with that today although I could depends on my mood a scaffold full of tools and just crap uh, more sorry more wood under here that needs to be cleaned up more scrap over here with the insulation more scrap it just scrap everywhere it's freaking scrappy in here so I'm gonna uh, put on some music have another little dance party, clean up a little bit, 
and uh, call it good for the weekend. So thanks for watching part two. If you didn't see part one, that was an hour, almost an hour, go check it out. And I'm just posting today an ASMR video. If you want to watch my dog watching the birds and hear the chirping of the desert sounds, go check out that ASMR video. Love you. Like, share, subscribe, comment. See you in the next one. Bye.